want to talk uh, about a very common phrase in the Philippines which is in a while now you'll go to say get a document processed and you'll say how long is it going to take I say in a while or you're getting your car repaired at the garage when will it be ready in a while all these things are relative to only the person's actually telling you um, I'm not sure why people do it but there's a couple of reasons that it makes sense and then there's sometimes it doesn't make sense where for example if you're getting a document process and it's just going to take five minutes they will still say a while they won't say give me a minute or give me five minutes they will still say in a while but then when you go to the garage to get your car fixed or maybe your computer's in for repair they'll say in a while and in a while could be a couple of days a couple of weeks or whenever the reason being is they've no idea how long it's going to take for example um, with my 4x4 I was waiting on an alternator part so when will it be ready in a while well what two days today don't know we're still waiting for the guy to come back because that's the real answer they don't know because there's with Pajero parts for example you can buy a brand new one for about 9,000 pesos or well I think it was actually more I think it was about 17,000 pesos actually uh, more second-hand one for about 1,500 um, so they're going around all the scrapyards until the guy comes back they do not know how long it will take because it depends if we found one or not but instead of them actually saying to you I don't know still wait for Tom to come back from the scrapyards they will just go in a while and then you go two days one day they still don't know because Tom may have got sidetracked on something else and may only have got to the first scrapyard and we'll do the rest during the week or maybe he's off fixing something else for two days and you won't know until next week so the way to deal with this is when somebody says relating to a bit of paperwork getting processed um, just say should I come back in an hour or will it be ready in 10 minutes you know just give them the specifics because most of the time they will not give it to you um, it's. I mean, we do the same in the West. There's a lot of stuff we say that wouldn't make any sense to Filipinos, so it's a two-way thing. But at the same time, it's frustrating because you you just have to a definition of time. So be aware that in a while doesn't mean well doesn't always mean five minutes, but it doesn't always mean two weeks either. <laughs> You've got to ask and be direct. Just say look. Will it be five minutes, or should I come back tomorrow? Or what? and they'll say mm, uh, one hour, one hour, something like that. It, they, because you've actually prompted them to give you a specific time. It's very common in the Philippines for people to be non-specific with things. It's sometimes oh, there's a lot said without a word being said. In, in Cebu, for Cebuano is a very well known for using their lips for direction for example if you were like said where's my cup they'll, they'll actually gesture with the lips sometimes they don't actually say they just go it's over there <laughs> you know they don't say it's over there it's just and it, it's just normal that's the way people are that's that's why sometimes it's quite frustrating um, I know with some text messages you'll often get uh, replies that are just the single letter K when you're actually hoping for a bit more of a response but hey ho welcome to the philippines